On our second day at Tropic Star, we headed offshore with Ryan and Jessica. The first thing we had to do was catch bait. So we went fishing for Bonita. Once we filled all six tuna tubes, we headed offshore, set our lines, and it didn't take long to get our first bite. Oh, quick, 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 quick. They're right there on your left. There we go. You got it, you got it, you got it. Got it, three, two. There we go, Stop it on. Taking line really good, really good. Oh, Ooh, wow. Nice. It's a 30 pounder. He's sideways. You got, you got, we, got to, we got to put the boat in neutral or something. We got our tag ready to go. I'm going to put a, called a spaghetti tag in there. So 48494. Tag ID. And if this fish is recaught somewhere else, we'll know how much it grew and, where, and how far it went. Does not want to give up. Big cow. Right? Oh, no, it's a bull. It's a bull. Yeah. yeah. Bull. There we go. Tag him. Oh, wow. Nice one. Nice one. Tag him. Tag him. Tag him. Oh, you want me to? Boom. Nice. Tag fish. Pull the rod off. Probably 20 pounds. First fish of the day. Nice you one. You ready to go back, buddy? You ready? Ready to go. All right, let's get you back. All right. Woo! See ya. Perfect. <laughs> that was very well executed. Yeah. Was very well, well done. Well done. Good job, team. That was awesome. First fish of the day, guys. It's been a little slow. There's been a few boom island caught by other boats, so we've got a lot of time left. Hopefully we find a black, maybe a blue, maybe some more dolphin. Big marks. He got it, he's on, he's on, he's on, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it, he ate it. There we go. Yeah, he's on him. There's another dolphin with him. Get in our bait. Get in our bait. Get in our bait. There's another dolphin with him. There's, a, there's another dolphin right behind him. Right behind him. My right, jump. Woo! All right. Another nice. tag body. This one's probably 25, dude. 25 that's a big. Yeah. That's a nice dolphin. Nice man. Florida, that's a beautiful fish, man. It's a, it's a stud in Florida. But we're gonna let him go. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And he took off like a bat. <laughs> that's one. That's like the Mike Tyson version of yeah. the Colorado, I think, dude. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. He was ready that's to go. Mental. Yeah, he wanted to go 15 rounds. <laughs> do you tag every dolphin you catch, or do you keep some? So the lodge will keep some for food, yeah. um, but we recently started collaborating with the Dolphin Fish Research Program. Yeah. Uh, it's Wesley Burton. And it, we've started to tag Dorado too. And so what we're doing is we're tagging these with little spaghetti tags, little yeah. just ID tags. And we get a measurement of the fish when we tag it, put the tag in. And then if that fish is ever recaptured again by a commercial boat or another recreational boat, then we can get another measurement from them where they caught it so we know where that fish went and, and how much it grew over that time period. Will the commercial guys actually report the Dorado back to you guys? They do. So there is, a, there is a reward on these, and, and so they will get a little reward if they do report the, the recapture. And if we catch a black marlin, you're going to use this thing. And we catch a black marlin, yeah, the, and these, these are for the big dogs. So this is uh, it's called a, a pop-off satellite archival tag, and this is essentially a miniature computer. Uh, so it's recording depth temperature and light levels the whole time it's on the fish um, and so it's meant to stay on for almost a year about eight months and with all that information we're looking at where these black and marlins it knows when to pop off yeah yeah so at, I actually plug it into the computer and I program it when to pop off and wow. it, at that time and date it'll send a signal down to these wires the electrolysis will corrode the wires really quickly the whole thing detaches from the fish yeah. floats to the surface and then it'll transmit all of that depth information, all wow. of that temperature information, and as well as the light levels, so that you can actually recreate the track of where that fish went so cool. for the eight months. But then you also get the habitat use where it where it was. Okay. So very, very, very expensive tags, but you get a lot of, a lot like of good 5, information. About 5,000 each? About 5,000 each, yeah. 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 So, but it's nice because- Make sure because, it's a fish that can actually live, right? Right, you definitely want a fish in really good shape to be able to carry one. Um, but it's nice because you don't actually have to recapture the fish. You get yeah. the data back no matter what. That's awesome. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Very yeah. nice. Oh! Yeah. Let it go! Woo. That was, that was insane. Jumps. Definitely a nice fish. Yeah. That was some solid jumps. 20 plus, easy. Yeah. You guys, check this out. So the tag goes in the needle, just like that. Ready to punch the skin. 
All right, he's almost here. He's not giving up. Not quite yet, not ready. Looks Just like a cow. Give you some bling. Is it a cow? No, nah, it's a bull. It's a bull. It's a bull. Okay. okay, yeah. Nice All right, Ryan, you ready to grab him? I guess. <laughs> Come on now. Whoever reels it in, grabs it. Okay. Beautiful. What? Beautiful. Way to go, nice Hesse. Uh, right here. Yep. Right Boom. Boom. Here we go. Get the hook out here. Yeah, Let him go. There you go. See you, buddy. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> hey, nice. Whoa. Good job. Good job. There you go. Way awesome. to go. Good job. That's awesome. Wow. That was a nice you one. just did that for the first time. <laughs> that was awesome. Didn't uh, put up much of a fight. After fishing, we headed back to the lodge, and that evening, Ryan gave a presentation showing all the amazing research the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation has been doing here at Tropic Star Lodge. The presentation was incredible. We learned so much about the migratory patterns of billfish and how important the tagging program is in this area. The following morning, we met Guy at the dock and got ready to go fishing. Day three here on the dock at Tropic Star. I'm here with Guy Harvey. We're going out with him, and we're gonna be looking for that big black marlin, there was lots of Dorado yesterday. I saw one that was almost 50 pounds. That's so hopefully, nice hopefully we can find some of those, put and some more tags in. Yeah, the sails are blues and black. So yeah. hopefully we'll get a black today for ourselves, your yeah. first. Yes. Get a couple transfers. Yes. And really make it happen. Good mixed okay. bag. Let's go. Right, what is it? What is it? Marlin? They just saw a tailing marlin. Was it a big one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was a giant. 300. I never saw it, Guy saw it, Kathy saw it. We're gonna get another live bait out right now. We're gonna see if we can get it. So in this water clarity, can you see the black marlin if they're tailing or is it just a tail? Just a tail, just a tail. Because the water is obviously very dark right now. It is dark, yeah. Now do the black marlin come in very aggressively or do they come sometimes, in? Sometimes, sometimes they're like a sailfish. They kind of linger and follow and go off, you know? We've done a lot of studies underwater with sails and marlin. Yeah. Filming them, free swimming, yeah. eating baits with no hooks. They suck them down in less than two seconds. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, they have a massive mouth. They do. You can put a five gallon bucket down some they of these do. marlin's mouths. That's, that's why it just goes down the hatch. Even a sailfish, I mean, it's not a huge fish, but they have a very large mouth for their size. They do. They tend to crush it more. Really? They go like this. Yeah, yeah. And then swallow it. Well, the marlin grabs, turns the head, and then swallows. I've seen photos of blue marlin caught commercially yeah. with multiple 100 pound yellowfin in their stomachs. Oh, yeah. Swallow hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor, right Taylor? here. Yeah. We're at. Woo! Massive fish. Very big? Massive fish. Whoa. Where is he? There we go. I think he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. Yeah, he ate it. I think. Wait. There he is. Oh, yeah. There he is. Right here. He's right here. He's right here. He got it? He got it? No. No, he yeah. Oh my God. Chupacabra. What is that? Chupacabra. The marlin's on you, on the center bait. On the center bait, center bait, center bait. Yeah. Oh my gosh, he's huge, he's huge, he's huge. Put it back there, put it back there for him, put it back there for him. He's right there, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah, I see him, I see him, I see him. Oh, he's jumping, he's jumping. Here, 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 here. Put it up, wine, wine, wine. No. Put it in free spool. It's in free spool. Something, something got it, something got it, I think. One, one, one. Still on? Came off. Chupacabra. I think it was the doll. Wait, no, no, it's still there, still there, still there, still there, still there. Chupacabra. How does the chupacabra come out here? Yeah, okay. Hey? Right where the marlin is. Gone with the whole body. Just the head you got left. That was a massive fish. That was a giant fish. Yeah, it's like 500. But the, I don't know how the chupacabras got in there at the same bloody time. Freaking hate them. Oh man, it's just the, the, the bad luck of it is unbelievable. When I said the hook, he never had it. He was it wasn't the fish. No. The fish never ate your bait. No. No, the, the, second, the first time it did, it dropped it. Yeah. But then the chupacabras got it. And, and that, that, that blew him off. Yeah. You understand? He was like... Oh, hey, he got yeah. turned off. Yeah. We might see six or eight of them today and get one bite. If there were no chupacabras here, you'd get more than one bite, right? For sure. Because they're fishing the right spot. Anyway, they are, they are around today, so we're going to see more. He's on, yeah, he's, he's on, on, he's on, he's on. Oh, wow, look at that jump. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. 
shooting. Nice size, man. Yeah, I know you get to see the biggest ones in the world all the time, 20. but he's maybe 20. The dolphins definitely are finicky. This is our first fish hooked up today. Seen three black marlin. The third one was really big, and the dolphins came. The bottlenose dolphins. You want to let it back out? Scared them away. Very. Let it back so out. So frustrating. Yeah. I can't even describe to you how frustrating it is. <laughs> Pretty big, I would say. Yeah. Are you ready, Josh? Going to put the tag in. Okay. Ready? Tags in. Ready? Picture on out. Nice All Dorado. Right. Can I see the tag? There go. Or... Tag on the other. There's the tag. There you go, buddy. All right, buddy. Beauty. See ya. Well done. All right. First fish of the day, guys. We're on a black marlin mission today. That was a very nice bycatch. Your bycatch down here is a fish of a lifetime in Florida. Really incredible the fishing here. We've seen three black marlin, like I said earlier. I think we're gonna get one today. I really, really do. This is this is the day. Guys hooked up to a big Dorado right now. Well, catching a dolphin on 80-pound test is not much fun, but we are fishing for bigger marlin. So that's a big Dorado, man. Invariably we're gonna get a little bycatch here and there. I see the other Dorado, I see the other Dorado. He's back there, he's back there, he's back there. Where's the uh, where's the pitch bait? Ah, no, you lost it? Yep. No. Oh, he got it. He ate, he ate me, he ate me, he ate me. Good job. Nice hook up there, Jay. There we go. Dude, the Dorado are amazing. I love them. You got a clear boat. <laughs> I'll tell you what, time. I could never get tired of catching these things. So so what, what happened here? Is it just pulled? Yeah, well, it got tangled up with the other lure, too. So it's probably foul hooked, you know? Little guy. Yep. They fought, he fights so hard for their size. Oh, yeah. Tags See. in? Yep, tags in. All right, pick him up. There it is, guys. There it Full is. Dorado. Look here, Josh. Got a tag. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Nice shot. That's awesome. And All right, ready, buddy? There he goes. Yep. See ya. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice. Come off really nice. We got a few Dorado. We're going to keep trolling here for about another 40 minutes, and then we're going to go back to live baiting, guys. Hopefully. I uh, still feel we're gonna get a black marlin today. We put our time in. We saw three fish this morning we had. We got so close. That was a really big fish. I want you guys, you guys know me, I want a monster. So hopefully all this time we're waiting, we get like an 800 pounder. Let's see. Hey, the pain's coming along really well, dude. A work in progress, Josh. These Josh, are all Bonitas, so, right? Uh, so far, we got, um, I can put in a, a couple of rainbow runners to add color, but yeah, that's the most common bait fish out there. Yeah, that's what we use, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, only uh, only if the black marlin that we had Yesterday. actually ate the bait. That was a nice fish. We saw him coming down oh. the wave, or her. It would have been yeah. her. You know, nice fat fish, big waves, and she came across, she made a move at the, the stinger bait. Yeah and was on it for about 30 seconds really before she made up her mind, which is typical black marlin behavior yeah. this time of year. There's not that crash out of nowhere. Tracking, tracking, actually got a bite and then a, she dropped it and a <laughs> bottlenose dolphin stole the bait from right in front of her face. And then another one- That might've been the most frustrating moment, top 10 most frustrating fishing moments of my life. And mine too, yeah. so, so totally agree with you. <laughs> it was really, especially, we were so close. Especially, this is the target species. Yeah. And you know, after four days, we haven't got one yet, so we yeah. keep trying, you know? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. quite frustrating, but it's really interesting how all this came to be. So we were at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this past year, and someone from Guy's Booth comes over and says, hey, Guy Harvey wants to talk to you. I'm like, what? really? Okay. So that's how it was said. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And it wasn't. It wasn't. He didn't tell me. Someone in my booth said, yeah. "Hey, someone came from the guy Harry booth. They said they want to talk. He wants okay, to talk cool. to you." Yeah. Like, okay. So, so we we come over there, and he's just, oh my gosh, Josh. Yeah, man. So great to meet you. You know. And and then we hit it off. And the next morning we had a, a breakfast, and he, he told me. And it was really humbling that you were you love watching the videos. Well, I do. And yeah. the thing is that um, I try and keep it while I'm doing all my other work because being an artist is a very lonely job. Yeah, yeah. There's only one guy who's doing it, and that's me, day in, day out. So I get out and exercise, I walk the dogs, do a little bit of walking, but I go on my exercise machine and I watch fishing shows. Mm -hmm. And your shows have come to the top of the pile, so to speak. Wow, that's so because cool. Because of a well, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. The quality of destinations is one. 
the variety of fish is another. Your expertise, your fishing ability, uh, the information you impart to the audience, mm -hmm. all of these combine together to make it a pretty unique show. Plus the short format keeps it simple and nice and quick. Um, just the way you, you, your approach to shark fishing, uh, the fact that they are a wonderful target species. They are. That, that you're not harvesting. Um, it's, it's a complete reversal from everybody else's um, Everyone, everyone hates, opinion. everyone's so negative sharks. I'm like, guys, they're here, let's catch them. Exactly right. Plus the Goliath group, is, of course, which are oh. protected species. You um, gotta come out, I, I, I gotta take you out to go see Those are amazing. Else. But I do love your international shows as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there's a variety, I know you've been in many places in Central America. So which one's your favorite show, if you had to pick one, that you've seen? <laughs> they're, they're all good. Um, Maybe the one with the, some of the black tip sharks. Yeah. Because they are, they are on the so, poppers? On the poppers, they're so acrobatic. Um, I know and, you mentioned and the, me one the, the big the, hammerhead. The, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you remember you talking about the Kobe one, too. Yeah, they're all pretty good. The use of the drone is, is particularly interesting. Yeah, we, we were the first ones yeah. to start ever doing yeah. that. So, you know, what also interests me is your, your general sort of concern for the health of the marine environment, especially in Florida. There's so many people fishing. And more recently, you know, the demise of all the, the fodder fish, you know, the, the bait species that have oh. been caught. Um, so your interest is not kind of limited, like a lot of people, a lot of specialists. And that's because both of us uh, want to keep on catching fish. I'm exactly. not a tree hugger. I love catching fish. I love eating fish. And if all the fish are gone, what are we going to do? Go hiking. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna be in trouble. So it's our collective responsibility to, to conserve fisheries. Um, and you know, the more we can collaborate with people like yourself from the uh, Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation perspective, we're going to do that. Dude, yeah. I, look, I really appreciate Thank that, that's so cool. Yeah. I know you're gonna be busy painting this picture, so I'm gonna let you keep painting. You got a lot of work to do in the next 24 hours. Yep, we got a couple of days left, so we're gonna catch a black marlin. Yes, we are. Yep. I believe it. Good going. Fishing here at Tropic Star is truly incredible. I mean, you can't even describe it until you're here. The scenery, the size of the fish, it's absolutely amazing. You guys got to book a trip to come down here. Go to Tropic Star right now, go to the links in the description and check them out, guys. There's, like, that's not even unrealistic. There's marlin here, bigger than that. It's insane. And I'll tell you what, for Guy Harvey to admit that he's a huge fan of Black to Beach, that was very, very humbling, guys. I mean, while we were fishing, he started talking about all the shows we're filming, which was, like I said, a really humbling experience. He listed so many shows. He listed stuff about our Goliath groupers, the sharks, the Cobias in Virginia. So really amazing to have a guy like that and be able to work with him. And I'll tell you what, he's a heck of a fisherman. Like real, he's real deal stuff. So make sure you're gonna check him out and go and support Tropic Star Lodge. Go give him a follow on Instagram. Go give him a follow on Facebook on every social media, guys. Book a trip, a fishing trip of a lifetime. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys go and check out our Black Tibet products at blacktipage.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.